Hi, I'm Colin Beaver. I look after the ignition and the technical queries here at Holden Vintage Classic. Um, some of you may know this is the book I wrote on ignition and timing. In this there's a section on rebuilding and setting up distributors. So I thought today that we'd just go through it simply showing you a couple of things um, what we do to get a distributor onto the exact spec it should be. We're starting off here with a base Lucas D2A4. Um, we're going to convert this to fit a Lotus Elite. Now the major problem is to start off with, inside on the shaft you will see 17 degrees. That means the advance on this distributor is limited to 17 degrees. Now Lotus Elite needs between 18 and 20 degrees. So what we have to do before we set it all up is modify the shaft so that we can actually obtain 18 to 20 degrees. This is a shaft out of that distributor. Um, these two holes here control, the size of those two holes, control the maximum amount of degrees. So if they're bigger, you get more advance. If they're smaller, you get less. This one here has now been modified from the 17 degrees. The holes have been made slightly larger so that we're going to obtain 18, 19, 20 degrees to suit the Lotus. Once that's back in the body, we fit the weights. There's a little pin in the bottom of the weights. That what moves in that circle, um, the hole. So hence, if the hole's a bit bigger, it can move more, giving it more advance. This is a brand new distributor we're working on here. So there's been no need to rebush or new bearings or anything like that. Once we've done that, we assemble it all up with the weights and the top plate. And we have a finished distributor. Then what we've got to do, now we've got our maximum advance set at about 19 degrees, is get the advance curve up to that 19 degrees correct to suit the Lotus. We've got one of the Sun 504 testing machines, which is a very good machine. And the distributor locates in here. Like so. Connect it up to get the power. And away we go. This is showing the revs per minute of the distributor. So as we turn this, it increases. You always do set up distributors to half engine speed. The distributor runs at half engine speed. This now shows you how many revs we're doing, what advance we're achieving, and we alter the springs inside to get the exact advance that we need through the whole rev range. Start on high revs, set that, then work your way back through the range. Once that's done,
and get a distributor that is correctly set up for our Lotus Elite. That will now give a maximum of 19 degrees and the advance curve through the range will be absolutely spot on. Um, we offer this service for new distributors. If distributors are old, we offer a rebuilding service so as we get them perfect condition before they go on there. And we also sell a whole range of parts. So rotors, contacts, condensers are all available from our website. And if you need any help or any guidance, have a look through this book. That will show you in more detail what we've seen here and go through the whole rebuild service and explain what are good parts, what are not, and what's best for you to buy. And hope it gives you a bit of useful advice. All available at holden.co.uk